Hey guys, Automotive Inquiries here. Back with the video to talk about gas versus diesel and the price comparison. A lot of people are like talking about when they buy a diesel, I'm going to recoup that cost of that diesel motor and the fuel economy that I get in it. And it's just going to be phenomenal. Now, I will tell you this much. I love diesel motors, but after 2007 and a half, when the EPA and the Obama administration uh, basically ruined the modern diesel with all of the EGRs and DPFs and everything that came with it um, it really killed that and unless you're driving a 12 valve or some pre-2007 diesel um, where they just had soot collectors on them and really no um, emissions control uh, that's the only way you're really going to get the fuel economy that you like now to put it in comparison um, again we would say trim for trim um, we have a couple power strokes at the place i work and those have uh you know just real basic trucks so they're fairly light they're just a regular cab long bed nothing crazy um and with the current rear end that's in the, th the 355 in that one um it gets around 15.5 miles a gallon in the city um if you see my other videos you know my godzilla gets around 14.2 in the city 14 and a half average usually now i do run premium fuel in that but the way ford has figured out what their motors is is if you use a lower grade fuel um it detunes the motor a smidge, so that way you don't get that knock, um, and that way you still get good performance out of it, but you don't have to put premium in it. But that being said, the cost of diesel and everything like that, um, you know, to me it makes you know more sense to still put premium in it. We're still about a dollar cheaper. So I broke it down for you guys just so you can actually see it, because again, if you're looking for an HD and you're really wavering, like, man, I might need the power, okay. Just like I've always said, if you're towing over 100 days a year, probably want to look at a diesel um, just so you can have that power and stuff like that if you're using it for full-time work feel free um, the ones we use at work we have v10s we have gas uh, little six twos we have v10s and then the power stroke and to be honest, they all get worked but even the power stroke that's always working still needs a regen Chevy's gonna be the same Ram's still gonna be the same um, so I'm gonna use this as kind of using the Ford perspective of it I've had plenty of Ram I've had plenty of GM trucks, so I'm, I'm only going to compare the, the Ford, but if you break down the math, it's going to be about the same. Um, and I got some super fancy um, sticky notes here with the math on it, and we're going to go through that. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, but I want to put it in perspective because when people are like, well, I'm going to recoup the cost of that diesel motor. If diesel trends the same way it has been, you probably won't ever recoup that cost, especially if you don't keep that truck, say... I think I figured it up. You're gonna to have to keep about 46,000 miles at least um, to even break even if it still trends that way. But more than likely, you're gonna to need to keep this truck forever um, to really recoup it because of the longevity of it. That being said, there's plenty of gas motors out there still going, you know, 250,000, 500,000 miles with proper maintenance. So let's get to my super fancy notes. So you can see right here this. Um, fuel economy number so currently in denver gas is about 314 for standard fuel diesel is about 439 for standard diesel and premium is 3.5 for a gallon so this is all ethanol free which is what i run on the truck now i just use the same math all the way down 15.5 is what we get in our power stroke now my um godzilla crew cab is actually heavier than our work truck xl and, but they all have the same motor and the same transmission roughly so that a uh, Lariat would have. So if you got a Lariat and it was even heavier, then this number is probably going to be down a little bit. So go across here at 314 per gallon. You break that down, divide that by your miles that you're getting per gallon. It's 21 cents per mile to drive that truck. If you come down here to the diesel, it's actually 28 cents per mile. And down here, if you run premium, it's only 24. So again, you're still, you know, four cents cheaper, you know, um, a gallon. So that's pretty good. Now, the only way you're going to come close to this 21 cents is that diesel's got to get 20 miles per gallon to break even at this 21 uh, 21 cents. I did the math. That's going to take you 45,238 miles to recoup the $9,500 uh, cost increase over that. Um, we go over here to my other math where if we did... Uh, average person or at least NADA saying most people drive about 18,000 miles a year at 21 cents per mile It's only gonna cost you about 3780 to drive that eight, those 18,000 miles But if you're driving that diesel at the 
28 percent or 28 cents per mile you're actually spending 5040 bucks driving the diesel again so if you're not using the diesel for all it's worth even though you may be getting better fuel economy by what a mile or two per gallon it's going to cost you twelve hundred dollars more a year to drive it that's not maintenance that's just the fuel and if it's even higher in some places or a little bit lower i mean the mass still kind of comes down we're probably not going to see diesel be cheaper than gas anytime soon and if it was dead even yeah sure it's going to be a smidge better than that um if it was 314 a gallon diesel yeah you'd probably be up there you know in the 19 cents but it's just not going to and most people don't keep their vehicles that long so to, to really do that it's going to take a while to to break even on your cost and now when we also talk about diesel trucks we also want to talk about the maintenance like i've said in my other videos about 70,000 miles into that diesel, diesel ownership probably gonna to have to have egr cleaning uh maybe a, a dpf cleaning um a dpf replacement uh, you're going to have fuel filters every other time that you do an oil change. An oil change is going to take you about 15 quarts um, of high-grade diesel motor oil. Um, so you're talking the maintenance is probably double. Um, we obviously can see that fuel, you know, everybody's saying that the fuel is going to add up, um, you know, and, and save me that money. It's probably not. Um, maybe over a 10-year, 100,000-mile span, you would break even, maybe come back around. But um, the co other costs associated with having that diesel um, are going to probably negate that. So it's almost like a, a dead even, you know, break in between the two. So again, if you want to spend more money and you just love diesels and you love the extra maintenance and the potential issues with the, the, the emissions control systems, um, then by all means, if money is no um, consideration, then absolutely go diesel because you'd have more than you ever needed. However, 95% of us don't actually use the diesel for what it's meant to be uh, used for. And even if you do, you're still gonna have a lot of associated maintenance with it. Uh, and I love diesels. And uh, the EPA really crushed the diesel um, industry when they came out with that, uh, the standards that it did. But um, I hope this puts it in a little bit of perspective for everybody because if you look at a lot of these new gas motors, they're putting out more horsepower than some of the first generation Cummins did in the early 90s, mid 90s. Um, the GMs from the 90s, which that wasn't the best diesel, the 6.5, but um, you know, and, and then of course, when it comes to you know the old power strokes, you know, they didn't have as much power, but I mean, these guys are still just trucking down the road with them. Um, so you know, I'd say if you're going to buy a truck and plan on keeping it until they outmode diesel, then you go for it. But I'm sure that these new uh, gas motors with the uh, cast iron blocks and proper maintenance will last just as long. So hope that clarifies a little bit of stuff for you guys. Put it in perspective. We'll see you soon.